probably six months after I became a Christian, uh, I ended up at a church that had some some like had my cut my cousin Tyrone became a he was used to be a crip, but he became a Christian, and then D West and then Dunn, they all went to the same church. You know, so I ended up joining their church because I felt like I related to them. You know what I'm saying? So but Dunn was a few years older than us, you know, he was married he was married to Tina. I think I was the only probably the only one wasn't married. But um we just we just did community. We didn't even call it community. You know what I'm saying? We just did it because we liked each other. It was cool. Everybody who was around our age at the time, young, would meet at their house and just kick it. One, uh, we started rapping. When we started rapping, started kind of picking up steam locally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, started doing stuff at local churches. You know, as it, you know, we started kind of gaining a little, little buzz in the city. You know what I'm saying? Dunn just kind of started falling back more, more, and more, and more. So it got to the point where. You know, he wasn't available for recording. You know, we weren't really kicking at the house like that no more. And then if we went over to his house, we, it would just be his wife there and his kids. And then he would be somewhere, you know, gone. Um, he stopped. You know, he wasn't showing up at church and stuff like that. And, you know, our mentality was, you know, accountability. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, it's like, I got to go say what, see what's up, you know, and see how he's doing. Um, so I went over to his house. When I went over to his house, we sat down. And so I went over there and, you know, as soon as I get there, I knock on the door and Tina comes to the door and she's like, uh, you know, you need to talk to your boy, you know? And I'm like, for what? You know, it was like, you know, I ain't, you know, marital stuff. Like, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, for what? And she was like, you know, you just talk to him. You ask him, and, you know? So I was like, all right. <laughs> you know, so she went in the room, got him. He came out and when he sat down, you know, dapped him up and it was like, yo, what's up, man? We, you know, I ain't seen you in a minute, just trying to check on you. you oh man, I just been working, you know, da, da, da. So then I switched the conversation, like, hey, uh, Tina told me to, you know, holler at you, man, y'all all right? And, you know, his reaction was like, yeah, I mean, we good. And so I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess it is nothing, you know? And I started talking about music, dapped him up, left, like literally, the, either the next day or the day after, somebody stopped me and was like, man, I heard your homeboy killed his wife last night. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I get in the car, I leave, somebody flags me down, and then they, you know, this person was somebody I knew, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, man, yeah, you heard word, bro? And I'm like, man, what? And so he's like, man, I heard, uh, oh, boy, man, one of your partners, killed his wife last night, and I died. And I'm like, dude, get out of here with that. And he's like, nah, man, I heard it was done, bro. I heard done killed Tina last night. And, you know, and I'm like, and I called him, he didn't pick up. So went over to his house, I went to his house, saw the yellow tape outside his house, and it still didn't done on me that that was, I was like, dang, he must really be the bad, you know? And then I called my cousin, like, hey, bro, like, the done jump on Tina or something? And, you know, he was like, man, like, Tina's, Tina's gone, bro. And I'm like, gone, like, gone. Hey, he's like, she's dead, you know? And I'm like, he started explaining, because he was with her family. And he started explaining what they had told him. So like then he was he was on the run for a few days. You know, police was looking for him and all that. And, um, but then they ended, he ended up turning himself in and talked to him and he was like, you know, like his concern was, does this mean I'm not a Christian no more? You know, it's like, this is me and I'm not a Christian now, you know, stuff. And he just, just, you know, shared the gospel with him again, you know what I'm saying? Told him, just let him know, man, you got a long road ahead of you. Like, they gave him, like, 30-something years. In Arkansas, that's, you know, you're talking at least 75% at the door of your time before you even eligible for parole.